as you can see by the title, this is how you balance a social life and self-improvement at the same time. Because I noticed a lot in this self-improvement community that a lot of dudes are like out here, you know, working on themselves, going to the gym, you know, eating healthy, working on their business. Like they're doing a lot of good stuff, but their social life is ass. And they think that self-improvement means that you need to avoid women or self-improvement means that you need to go ghost for six months or, you know, do all of that shit that, you know, social media keeps telling you to do. And I will say, like, there's bits and pieces of, you know, positivities and negativities. Like, you know, I think it depends on the person. I think that you shouldn't be out here being hella lustful. I think that's kind of dumb. You also shouldn't be one of those weirdos who are afraid to talk to girls. You also shouldn't be necessarily going out every single day but i don't also think that you should you know like be just 100 percent alone like fucking batman with no social life and no you should have a balance not necessarily a balance because you should be on your self-improvement journey and that should be your main priority but when i say balance i mean you should still be able to utilize social life and social skills and building your social skills as self-improvement that's what i mean when I say you're self-improvement, improving, you should want to self-improve every aspect of your life simultaneously. I mean, that's the best, that's the best decision that you can possibly do. Now, some people may agree with what I just said. Some people may not. Who gives a fuck, right? The first step I really have as far as improving yourself when it comes to social skills and talking to people is literally just utilizing everyday life. For example, you need to say hi to just about everyone. And I know that sounds kind of corny and so kind of goofy, but what that does in your brain, it activates the removal of having a fear of rejection. When you go out and you talk to people, and it can be something as small as, I like your shoes. Oh, hey, what time is it? Just little things or, you know, asking a front desk person at the gym when you walk in, how are they doing? Asking a girl who's working out how many sets you got left, knowing damn well she just got on the machine. But you know what I'm saying? Like, little things like that go so fucking far because when it does come time for you to want to approach somebody that you really like or when it does come time for you to want to, you know, talk to that guy that you think is really, like, about it, got motion, and you want to learn from him, you're not sitting there chicken and out or acting like a little, a little wimp, a little bitch. Like, you can go up to him and be like, hey, what's good? My name is... And I just want to talk to you and see yada, 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 this, that, and the third. So yeah, number one tip, bro, just go out and talk to people. Go out and communicate. Go out and live and actually connect with society. You can still, and this doesn't have to be like a main priority situation. This should just be bits and pieces of your day-to-day -day life. I'm not saying that you want to go out of your way to go to a party or go to a club. I don't do none of that shit, but I think I have a pretty decent social life. I talk to the coworkers at my job. I talk to some of the people at the gym. If I'm at, you know, getting food, I'll chop it up with something. Like, I just make sure that I can still sharpen my pen when it comes to um, social skills. Because you should. You should always want to improve talking to people and learning how to talk and learning how to communicate. Because the tongue is one of the strongest things on the planet. If you can talk correctly... And you can talk in a way that can move people, that can make people like, oh my gosh, like that is some shit, bro. Like if you can do that, hold people's attention and get people to actually want to listen to you and like talking to you, bro, you can go fucking far in life. And that brings me to my next one. It's not a lot of steps. This video ain't, gonna, ain't even going to be long. But my next step, bro, actually be interested into what people have to say. And I know that sounds a little like self-explanatory, but... When you intentionally want to know what somebody is doing and intentionally, like, even if you, bro, even if you don't give a fuck, because I've been there, there's been many times where I'll talk to somebody, I'll talk to, you know, an NPC or something, I'll be like, hey, how's it going? And they're like, oh, nothing much, just fishing. And not to hate on anybody that fishes, but it's just like, you know, like those basic combos that lead you nowhere, like, isn't ha doesn't have any substance to them. Even people... In places like that, I understand that all I need to do is just to be interested into what they're saying and not in order to get them to like me. I mean, if that's your goal to get them to like you, then, then so be it. Just leave it at that. But for me, it's like I just want to learn something new. Whenever I approach somebody I've never met before, 
main priority is just to learn. It's not even to have another friend or anything like that. Cause I think I got a, a decent amount of homies. Like I, don't, I really don't want a whole bunch of friends, but it's really just like, what can I learn? What can I gain from this conversation? Like, I don't know who this person is, so you never know what can happen. And that's why it's so important to never cancel or doubt anyone out, regardless of how they look, how they act or how they walk, unless they look like a fucking dickhead. But if they look like a normal human being, bro, just walk up to them and be like, yo, how you doing? How's it going? Whatever, depending on your scene. Like if you're at a fucking Culver's or something, just be like, hey, I like your piercings. Hey, I like your shoes. Or, you know, like just make sense out of something, you know, like, you're going to have those moments. It can be cold as fuck outside. You and somebody else walking in the cold. Motherfucker, it's cold as hell out here, bro. I swear to God. That's it. Like, you don't have to make it something that it's not. But this is coming from somebody who didn't always have the best of social skills. I was never, like, an introvert. I always was able to talk to people. But I never really knew how to cultivate and gather influence through my words. At least not as much as I can now. And that's kind of why I started YouTube. And this video really is for all of the homies that I have in my life who are pretty bad at, you know, talking to people, which isn't a, a, like a me trying to come at you or nothing like that, because we all have different lives and different things that we've been dealing with. You may be dealing with some stuff that I don't understand, but I can give you what I learned. And I think my number one thing is even if you do want to turn it into a game, I would say try to talk to 25 new people a day and that will take you far or shit, even just 10 people or five, like you can start off small and work your way up, like working out. It's the same shit. Like if you really are at a point where you know you don't talk to nobody, try to talk to one person that you've never talked to before. Oh, you did that? It was scary as fuck, but it was cool. All right, make it two. Okay, make it five and work your way up and get to the point where you don't give a fuck if you say hi or bye to somebody. You're not in your head about what do I say? How do I say it? What do I... And I'm not even talking about talking to girls yet. That's that's a different that's a different video. I'm just talking about how to improve social skills, how to improve friendships, because this is deeper than just talking to people. This is how to have real friends. A lot of people ask me, how do I get real friends? First of all, you need to accept people for who they are. That is the first step as a game. That is the first step on getting real fucking friends. You accept that person, not for who they can be or not for what they can do for you, but for who they are. And if you don't want that person for who they are in your circle, that's fine. You know that that can't be your friend, but you accept them where they are, who they are and what they are. If you if you have that mindset for everybody you meet in your entire life, you will find real friends because you accept them for who they are. You accept that they're fucking annoying sometimes and sometimes they piss you off and maybe they do this and do that but they also care about you and you guys can vibe on some comic books and you, like you have to accept every aspect of a human being in order for them to gain that trust and vice versa and in order for them to accept you you have to accept them and sometimes you have to be the initiator one of my closest homies shout out eli bro i fought like no weird shit the way me and bro met, so this was my sixth grade. Both of our sixth grade, like this was years ago. And we had lived in the same area and we used to walk the same way to school because we both lived like a block away from school, right? And I always wanted to like, like he was the only kid in the area. So I always wanted to get to know him and see who the fuck he was. And one day I caught him walking. <laughs> one day I caught his ass walking and I was behind him. And this may come off creepy, but we were kids, bro. I was 11, and so was he, right? So he was walking, and he was walking the same exact route as me, so it looked like I was following him. And he always tells me from his perspective that he thought I was trying to jump him or rob him or some shit, which is a little racist, but he black too. Anyways, I was by the time we both got to the, to the door, I was like, hey, hey, I'm Tim. And it was probably awkward as fuck. And he was like, huh? And I was like, what's good, bro? Like, my name's Tim. I just moved over here and I'm a kid and you're a kid and I just wanted to say hi. And he was like, what the fuck, huh? What? Like tweaking. It wasn't anything bad, but he was just like, huh? Like startled and shit. And I was just like, yeah, bro. I, ain't, I didn't mean to scare you or nothing or anything like that. My name is Tim. I just wanted to say hi. And he was like, oh, my name is Eli. And that's how we met. Some chill shit. And that was me being a little ass kid. I'm not saying you should, you know, you know, you should chase people down and do shit like that. But the point of that story is that 
you know, we got to know each other and I accepted bro for who he was. When I when I met bro, did I think that we were still gonna be homies to this day? Fucking seven years later? Damn near eight years later? Fuck no. I didn't think that we was gonna be cool. Who the fuck thinks that shit? If you if you if you meet somebody and your your first initial thought is is this person best friend material? They're not gonna be your fucking best friend, you fucking weirdo. That is not how you do it. You just walk up to somebody and you say what's good, bro, and you you see where things go from there. And it's the same way when you talk up when you talk to a girl. You shouldn't talk to a fucking girl thinking that oh my god, that is the mother of my children right there. That is the one. No, dumbass. You need to walk up to her and be, be like, okay, she's fine. Let me let me see who she is. Get her name. Get her number. Hey, my name is. Yada, 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 I thought you was pretty, I was wondering if I could get your number, whatever, right? From there, you get to know that person, you accept them, you listen to them, you talk to them, you do everything that you can to be a normal human being, a good person, and be yourself. Do the things that you like to do, don't change who you are, don't change what you like, don't change what you wear, don't change how you talk, don't change anything about yourself. You come as you are, and you accept them as they are, and God will let you know if that is supposed to be your homie or not. God will let you know if they're supposed to be in your social circle or not. You leave it up to God. And how are you going to know? If you fuck with them and if they fuck with you, it's that fucking simple. Real recognizes real. As long as you come real, you'll see if they're real or not. It's that simple. But if you come flawed and fake, you will attract, attract flawed and fake. That is the law of manifestation. I'm going to make a video about the laws of the universe, but I just... I've been too lazy because it's a lot of shit to say. Now, I'm probably going to split it into videos. Anyways, to bring it back when it comes to how to build your social life and how to maintain your social life while on self-improvement, first thing you got to do, bro, is just be straight up. Be honest. Be real. All I'm telling, right now, I'm just focused on myself grinding. I go to the gym. I make videos. I work out. I already said that. I work two two jobs. I eat healthy. This is like, this is me. This is who I am. And they're like, oh, that's dope. My name is this. I do that. I do that. I do this, that, and the third. And either you're like, oh, fuck, that's weird. I don't want to be around this person. All right. All right. It's cool. Nice to meet you. Never talk to them again. Or, oh, shit. You go to the same gym as I do? Merch, bro. You trying to catch a workout one day? Boom. That motherfucker might fuck around and become your best friend. Or you might find out they're weird as fuck and you never want to talk to them again after the first link up. That's fine. But you see what I'm trying to tell you? Let things happen naturally. Don't sit here and try to just, you know what I'm saying, force a connection. With it, with, whether it's friends, whether it's trying to gain an influence, or whether it's trying to get a girlfriend. You just let shit flow. All you do is just seek opportunity where opportunity is given. If you see somebody who seems cool, say what's up. Don't be afraid to say hi to people. Don't be like... That is how people get rich or get where they want to go is because they create opportunity. And all it starts it all it starts with is a hi, a greeting, a handshake. A handshake can make you a million dollars if you're in the right room. Okay? So don't sit here. Don't be one of those people on self-improvement. It's the last thing I'm gonna say. Don't be one of those motherfuckers on self-improvement who do all of the other things, like work out, grind, stack your bread, do all of this stuff, and you don't improve your social life and talk to people. Because that's little thing that might be the most important part of your growth it might be the most important part of your growth fuck muscles fuck the money fuck this have you ever heard the term it's about who you know not what you know it's the truth i've gone into a lot of places and done a lot of things strictly off of the people that i knew and i'm only 18 i have a lot of shit that i'm still going to do and though i'm young i have a lot of wisdom and game and that's why i'm here to give it to you Give it to all of y'all, shit. So yeah, at the end of the day, you can still grind on your self-improvement journey and do all of that stuff, but do not neglect social life. And social life does not mean partying, drugs, fucking. That's not what that means. A social life can simply just mean saying hi to the fucking cashier and asking them how their day was when you're getting your groceries at Target. That's all I got for you. Thank you. Hopefully this helps somebody. Bye. Thank you.